What's up guys, we're back to another video on the Cosmic Comics channel. I'm once again back in PetSim 99, and today we'll be talking about the new update uh, in PetSim 99. Uh, it is update 7, and we got a bunch of new stuff, and today I'll be giving my honest opinion on uh, the update as a whole. Um, overall, I'll just say now, I think uh, it was pretty good. Uh, there were some, well, there was actually a lot of good stuff, and uh, quite a few things that the devs could work on. But overall, it's very good. Clan Wars, well, you have to wait to see what I think about that. First off, let's talk about what we got in the update. We got 24 new areas, all looking really cool. I really like the Comet one, uh, no bias at all. Uh, we got Rebirth 5, uh, it gives a bunch of cool perks. Uh, we got Masteries for like digging, fishing, fruits, uh, pets. Uh, the Pets Mastery is basically for goldening, rainbowing, fusing, and using the daycare. I don't know if that one's bugged, because uh, I don't know. But uh, I think there's something wrong with it. Um, we got the claw machine, uh, a super cool machine, and uh, we got an exclusive daycare. It's kind of just if you have extra huges, I guess. Uh, we got area quests, uh, new ranks. Uh, we got two new exclusive enchants. Uh, one of them is the uh, global magnet, and the other one is the boss lucky block. Uh, I don't, I haven't tried uh, the boss lucky block yet, uh, so I don't know how good that is. Uh, there's also shiny hoverboards. Uh, they're just, I guess, basically more stuff you can trade. Uh, and then we got a uh, St. Patrick's Day event, and of course the brand new Clan Wars. Uh, more of that at the end. So let's talk about everything good in this update. Uh, overall, like I said, there were some really cool things. Uh, as I said as well, I really like the uh, new areas, Comet 1 especially. Uh, perfect. Uh, the new Rebirth is also very awesome. Uh, with Rebirth 5, we get access to Secret Pets, uh, Shiny Chance Boosts, uh, Area Quests, uh, which is new, um, and a bunch more uh, rewards. Uh, these are all very unique. I think the shiny boosts uh, will be helpful if you're just AFK hatching, uh, getting those more, uh, getting those shiny stat pets. Um, area quests also give something to grind. Uh, the secret pets uh, also open up a bunch new, uh, a bunch more opportunities for future editions if the devs ever wanted to add anything else. Uh, also, uh, the masteries are awesome because that is something else you can grind on the side. Um, the four new masteries, super cool. Uh, I like the fruit one because you can equip more than 20 at once. Uh, I think that's super awesome uh, thing to do. Uh, there's also the global magnet enchant, uh, super helpful. I don't have it since I don't have enough Robux. But essentially, you can. it's like having a magnet flag down, except you don't need the flag. So if you have the enchant equipped, uh, you can equip or you can uh, get coins from breaking from anywhere in the map, which is a super cool thing that there's added. Uh, it's for 1200 Robux, so if you have the Robux, I think it's definitely worth buying. Uh, I don't know how much it goes in the um, trading plaza or for uh, gems at the moment. Um, also, uh, I think one of the best things in the entire update, if not the best, is the exclusive egg. Now, I don't have enough Robux. If I, if I didn't have enough, I would definitely open tons and tons of these eggs. Uh, there's like a huge Joker, a huge Iron Man, and the Titanic Batman cat. Uh, the Joker's like a, I think they call it a huge Jester dog, a uh, huge Tiger Iron Man thing. I don't remember what they call it. And then there's the uh, Titanic Bat Cat. It's basically just Batman as a cat. Uh, this is definitely the best egg we've gotten like ever. So yeah, uh, well done to the devs for that. Now, let's talk about uh, the bad. Well, I say bad, but it's not horrendous. There's only two things here on my list. Uh, one, the St. Patrick's event. Uh, the entire thing, very good for every four hours. That's not a long time to wait. Uh, but basically, a rainbow bridge will spawn at the back of World 1. Uh, and there's an egg at the end. Uh, super cool, because you get to, uh, you get uh, amazing damage pets. However, if I'm going to grind World 2, I'm personally not very bothered to travel all the way back to World 1. Uh, I do understand why the devs added it in World uh, one, but because you know new players can uh, participate in it and get those stat pets quite quickly when they're starting out. But um, I think it would be cool if uh, for future events, uh, add it to World Two as well, or just have a separate world as a whole for the event, so you can teleport uh, with like a cannon or like um, just through the teleport menu to the new world from uh, any place. I think uh, that would be super awesome. But as a whole, like I said, super awesome update, Welcome, uh, well done to the devs for that St. Patrick's thing. Uh, second negative thing, I'll call it a negative, uh, is the area quest. Now, uh, before I say anything else, uh, I think area quest is an awesome idea. The entire uh, T of it is super cool, 
uh, being able to complete quests in different areas for points. Uh, but uh, here's the problem. These area quests can be maxed out, so there's like a max number of quests you can do. Uh, you get points from completing these quests, and that means there's a maximum number of points you can get. Now, you spend these coins in the shop. But if you spend them, then you can't really get any more if you've maxed out every quest. Apparently, the max is 894 points, uh, but um, it's not too big deal. Maybe the devs can just add more, uh, keep adding more in the next updates. Uh, but that's basically all the I say in quotations uh, negative or bad things in this update. Um, finally, uh, the pièce de stance in this update, the clan wars, and uh, I'm gonna be honest here, this is definitely the best one we've had. Uh, funny enough, this is also something I mentioned in the previous video. I have a couple of ideas for what the devs could add. Uh, one of them is adding quests. So maybe, you know, uh, for Clan Wars, maybe complete the most quests. So, uh, but, like I said, super awesome, because anyone can basically compete in this war. Uh, and everyone uh, kind of works together. You know, everyone works together to break, uh, for example, like 200,000 uh, breakables in the best area. Um, you can AFK them, uh, for example if you have fishing quest, just AFK that. Or if you have a dig site quest, you can actively dig. So yeah, overall, this is a very good wall. Uh, I hope that the devs keep some sort of clan, west, uh, clan quest system in the end. Uh, maybe more uh, clan wars with the same kind of quests, but just uh, different, uh, well, different quests, but same kind of system. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, I did also mention in the previous video, maybe uh, the clan shop, a clan shop. So uh, for example, completing the clan quest, you get points, spend those points in the clan shop. Uh, if I mentioned that in the previous video, as I said, uh, go watch it after this one, it'll be on the top right. But anyways, uh, yeah, that's basically everything I have about this brand new update. Uh, I would probably give this event a solid 7 or 8 out of 10. Uh, there isn't much negative in this one, and the clan wars are super fair, easy to participate in. And yeah, uh, if you did enjoy today's video, do consider liking and subscribing. Uh, I'll be definitely doing a bunch more Petsum 99 stuff in the future. But yeah, this is Cosmic Comments blasting off, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.